I think I should be doing better than this with the Sidisty man. Turns out 10% means a hell of a lot of Ponyta and not a hell of a lot of uh, freaking Sinisty here. Oh, I gotta pray to the tea gods. Oh, tea gods, come down from on high and grant unto me the shiny Sinisty that I seek. I don't know why I turned into like a voodoo priestess there, but you know, whatever. That's kind of this place is kind of giving me a voodoo vibe, you know, some down south bayous, Louisiana kind of thing. Maybe it'll work. Maybe I'll get the T Pokemon that I'm looking for. See, Switch Master, you remember pronouncing Ponyta as Ponita? I guess that kind of makes sense. It's like Pony and Bonita, which means like pretty in Spanish. I could see that. I, I pronounce it Ponyta, but it could be Ponita. I actually don't know. On it sounds better as Ponyta. All right, then I'll take that. Hell yeah, man. It's not like I'm entrenched in my ways. It's not like I will start an argument about the proper pronunciation of a Pokemon name. I certainly haven't done that before. We'll see what we can get here. We got one more Sinisty encounter, and then I'm at the the, the glorious magical 500. I can just run away from everything. And guys, it is official. I have hit 500 Sinisty. Oops, and I did not switch out. Shit. <laughs> um, this is anticlimactic. Um, yes, I, I'm very happy to uh, finally have KO'd 500 of these Sinisty. In fact, I, I should really check and make sure that's the case in my Pokedex. But um, now I can just run away from these things, which is beautiful. I think it's going to make this hunt a lot easier. Adulthood is... The freaking awful, I gotta say. Now, I mean, there's some level of freedom to adulthood, which is nice. But uh, there's a lot more. You've got to worry about responsibilities, bills. Nobody likes bills. Having to wake up early in the morning and go to work all day is the worst. Wamlina, is that is that the line? With great freedom comes great responsibility. I did. That's that's. The worst thing about being an adult. That's the tagline for adulthood. Uh, Wombolina, yeah, I, I have uh, shatties of everything. So I basically had to hunt for three Bulbasaur. Well, actually, it was one Bulbasaur and two Ivysaur because I used Friend Safari for it. But yeah, I have uh, one of everything. It's hanging out on my Pokemon home right now. Actually, if you go over to my YouTube channel, you can check out my video of, of my shiny decks on Pokemon home. It's only, it's only a 25 minute video, why wouldn't you watch it? Everybody's got 25 minutes, right? Just hanging around. Yeah, the, it, was a, it was a fun video to make. Although, I had a stupid copyright strike on it. What is dumb? Well, it wasn't a copyright strike. It was a copyright claim, which I disputed. Because, and it was not, I used all this Pokemon music. But you know, you know who uh, uh, claimed uh, the video as copyright infringement? Not Pokemon. Not Nintendo. Nah. None of that shit. No. Some random, like, uh, uh, Indonesian... God damn it. Who guessed Shani or Anguru was going to show up? Whoever you are. I got, I got some words to speak with you. You and me are no longer friends. I kid, no. Shetty or Anguru uh, does look pretty good, I gotta admit. Uh, but here's the deal. I don't need it. It ain't gonna help me. I already got a Shetty or Anguru uh, uh, in my living shiny decks. So I have two options. I can KO it. But nobody wants to see me do that. So I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna give it to somebody who would enjoy a Shetty or Anguru. Assuming it actually gets caught, though. Like, come on, man. I, I don't have to do this. I don't have to catch you. I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart. It is a surprisingly good-looking shiny, I gotta say. This is the end of Phase 6, by the way. Uh, we are currently at 4,620 random encounters or so. I have 462 of the uh, Sinisty, and they're at 10% shiny, so I'm just doing the math to guesstimate. My critical captures... Literally, like, my last ten critical captures have not caught uh, the stupid Pokemon. 
I did not expect that to catch because I am so used to critical captures failing. I could attack you, but I would definitely kill you. So I gotta keep throwing Ultra Balls, unfortunately. Anyway, what was I gonna say? Phase 6 is over. About 4,600 random encounters. And uh, we're gonna keep going for the Sinistee Man. As soon as I catch this stupid thing. It's taking way too long. This Magilla Gorilla over here, this Grape Ape. It, it does look surprisingly good. I gotta say, I like how some of its colors kind of turn this, um, this kind of blue, light blue cyan. It does look really, really nice. Now, I do not false swipe my Pokemon. Uh, false swipe, I have found, leads to about 95% of the shiny fails that I've ever seen. So, I do not, uh, you know, I don't false swipe. I have plenty of Pokeballs. I just throw Pokeballs. It might take a little longer, but it, it drastically lowers my rate of uh, Pokemon failure. And, I, and I'm very happy to not fail things. Even though I, again, don't need this Pokemon. I'm just trying to give it a good home. Three shakes, can we do it? No. <laughs> because F my life, right? <laughs> Come on, Oranguru. You gotta be kidding me, dude. We got three shakes. No, that's two shakes. That's three shakes. And no, wow. Now this Oranguru has like zero chance of struggling to death. Not gonna happen. I've got I've got more than enough Pokeballs. It's got more than enough moves. Even if it did start struggling to death, equal chance it could uh, start doing that uh, once I had false swipe. Now this Boltund um, could in fact get KO'd, but luckily I have other Pokemon uh, that can sit here and take all these attacks. What are you gonna do? Wash me, do it. I dare ya. Nothing happened. Can't believe this man. Get caught. We got one shake, two shakes, three shakes. Come on. Oh lord. It's Oranguru. It's gonna be. It's gonna be the most powerful Oranguru in the world. All this quash and psych up. I don't have any stat boosts. You're doing nothing over here. No, things do not run in this game. There's no running away. It's just going to sit there. It's going to get caught eventually. No reason to fret. Yes, what are, what are you too good for your home? Oh, this Oranguru, man. I didn't think Oranguru was that hard to catch. I've gotten almost everything in this route, by the way. The only Pokemon that I have not uh, found the shiny of on this route is Spritzy, thank God, Galari and Ponyta, which I want, Sinisty, of course I need, and um, I think that's it. Is there anything else? I think that's it that I haven't found yet. Phantom, there's Phantom as well. I did forget about that. I don't need a Phantom either. I really thought I was going to get another uh, critical capture here at some point. We got two shakes? No. Busted out. I don't believe this, man. Look at that special attack rise. Which, of course, it, it's raising its special attack. Literally does not have uh, a special move on its move set. That's three shakes. Caught. There it is. See? Sometimes all you got to do is give it some time. Wunderbar. All right, we're going to give this uh, Oranguru, I think, to, um, you know, somebody who could actually use it and uh, give it a good home. All right, dude, enjoy the Oranguru. I hope it has a much better life over on your game than it possibly would on mine. Victoria are gonna shutty hunt for 12 hours straight. Man, let me tell you, I haven't done that in a long time. I used to do it like every weekend, literally every weekend. I would wake up uh, probably about 10 a.m. or so, maybe about noon if I was feeling, you know, lazy that day. But mostly around 10 a.m. I would wake up and then I would shiny hunt until like 1 a.m. at night. How many hours that is, uh, however many it is, it's that's how long I shiny hunted for. It was literally, I would shiny hunt for like 16 hours on a weekend day. It was crazy, dude. And butter taters, you give me whatever shiny in your living shiny decks for some toilet paper. Brother, I gotta keep all the toilet paper I got. I'm not giving this shit out. No, no, no. This is, this is... There's my toilet paper. I fought good and hard for it. Can you imagine 
like in a post-apocalyptic situ uh, situation, the one thing that people are going to be like fighting over is going to be end up being toilet paper. Who would have thought? This is the most boring post-apocalypse ever. Oh, Debbie, yeah, Westworld coming on tomorrow night. This is going to be good, dude. And then I'm going to have to, uh, starting next week, I'm supposed to work from home, people. This is going to be weird. I don't know how I'm going to pay attention. But working from home is all new for me. Uh, Nasheed, what is my actual job? So I work at an environmental nonprofit. I primarily work in uh, stormwater management and mitigation uh, using green infrastructure. It sounds very boring, um, but I, I, it's also very important work and uh, leads to a lot of great education, you know. So I like it. <laughs> B skill, how you doing, man? Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, there's uh, phase seven right there. Who guessed Shiny Morgrim? Oh, Lord. Uh, that's okay. Um, you know, I a lot of people have asked if I get a, a second Shiny Morgrim, what will I do with it? Will I catch it and evolve it? Uh, or will I give it away? I think my answer has got to be give it away. I really do. I, I really, really, really want to do a soft reset hunt for the Shiny Grimsnarl all over in the wild area. And uh, I just can't let it be. I can't, I can't. I can't just evolve this one. It would be so nice, so easy. But I'm going to catch it and uh, give it to somebody who would really enjoy it. I was going to try to catch it in a uh, uh, one of these premiere balls here because I thought that would look nice. But now I don't know if it's going to happen for me. We're going to keep trying. No, it's not going to get caught. All right? If it doesn't get caught on the next premiere ball, I'm going to you know move it on to Ultra Balls here. Uh, that's a critical capture noise, though. Let's see if we can do it in one shake here. Yeah, because critical captures, what are those? Those never work for me. Jesus Christ. All right, no, no, no. We're, we're switching. Oh, you know what looked good? Great ball. Great ball kind of matches the color a little bit. Kind of. They're both blue-ish. Is it going to work? Is this actually going to work? There you go. Somebody's going to get a Morgrim and a Great Ball. So, yeah, that's it. Phase 7 complete with this shiny Morgrim and... Moving on to phase eight, Nasheed, enjoy the uh, the Morgrim as I will enjoy your Swoobat, which I think is a Chinese Swoobat for some reason. I hope it doesn't have the coronavirus. That's a bad joke. I, I regret making it already. The crappy thing is, is that um, every time they name one of these uh, Pokemon games, like these, um, like uh, uh, Fire Red, Leaf Green, or... Heart Gold Soul Silver, or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, like they're taking away good Pokemon game names, right? Good opposites. Pokemon Alpha and Omega would have been a great game. Pokemon Heart and Soul, great, great titles, but we're having to affix them to these remakes. Part of me kind of wants the um, to get the coronavirus over and done with. Part of me wants to just get it and be like. Um, and, and, and have it suck for a couple of weeks and then be totally immune to it. But, uh, I don't know. There's, there's a very small chance it could go very, very poorly. Uh, Banana Hammond, what is going on, dude? Not doing much. Quarantined. No, I'm not quarantined. That's not true. Isolated from, uh, you know, going out. The governor closed all the bars and restaurants. It is, uh, it is a sad day in North Carolina. I'm like uh, halfway convinced that I'm going to find another shiny NDD in here. Despite it being a 5% Pokemon. I'm kind of scared about that actually. Because if I find a second one, obviously I, want, I would want it to be a male one. Because I've already got the female. I need the male one for my shiny decks now. For my, for my form decks. For this female, man. I'm, so, I'm very, very happy that I got the shiny NDD. But now there's just another Pokemon that I can get another duplicate of. Uh, Zorowski, is any, any tips for a future streamer? Um, that's a good question. I would say uh, start small. Um, and, and don't worry, I think, about like not getting too many viewers or whatever. But A, be consistent. And C, strive for quality. Right? Make sure, you know, make your streams look really nice have them um i don't know how to say this 
but like ha have some kind of graphic design sense to them um and have them look intentional just don't throw you know a couple of you know obviously when i started my streams looked really crappy right oh god fucking damn it i predicted the shit out of that i can't believe that i predicted the ever loving shit out of that fuck me dude <laughs> Oh my god. Um, I guess that's it for phase 8. A second shiny entity. Another 5% shiny. When I can't even find this 11% synesty. I don't believe that, man. I, I honestly do not believe that. Uh, we're going to catch this thing. What, in a great ball? Why not? Great ball kind of fits. It's kind of blue. Oh my goodness! Uh, somebody's gonna get it. I gotta. I, we're gonna trade this thing away. How on earth? How on earth did I predict that? I, I, there were just too many NDDs showing up. There were just too goddamn many. That's a critical capture noise, anyway. Let's see if it actually catches. Yep. Man, I love shiny NDD, but dude, I, I just freaking knew I was gonna get a dupe of that. Jesus Christ. All right, uh, somebody's going to get this. Uh, I'm going to enter a link code. Uh, somebody's going to get it. So, Aaron, enjoy the NDD. I hope it'll have a lot of love over on your game. And uh, I will take care of the comb for you. Hell yeah, dude. Dude, this is three Sinistee in a row. This is going so nice all of a sudden. I love this. All right, guys, I'm calling it now. Today's stream, right here today. I'm going to go till we hit 750 on the Sinistee. All right, just putting it out there. Because I just got four Sinistee in a row. Look at this shit, man. Killing it over here. Um, J Straight, when I finally get the Sinistee, it will be bittersweet when it turns out to be a forgery. I don't think it will be, uh, honestly. I'll just be happy to get the damn thing. Because I'm not uh, expecting it to be authentic, right? So when it does turn out to be a forgery, I'll be like, oh, this is what I was expecting. You know, I don't really, I'm not, a, I don't really care, right? And this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, J Straight, no, I don't have the uh, the shiny hat, um, because honestly, this, um, this thing right here, this gosh darn, uh, Applin has been treating us very well. Um, and I have been finding a lot of shinies with the Applin on my head. Yeah, Cynical, I got two shiny NDD out here. Don't, don't ask me how. Do not ask me how, because I got freaking no idea. Um, I don't, I don't have a Spritzy yet. No, but the, uh, NDD is like the rarest Pokemon out here. And still somehow, I, um, I got two of them. And I predicted the other one. Like, one day I was getting like, man, I'm encountering a lot of NDD today. I bet you one of them's going to be shiny. Show, enough it was. I don't know how that was. Oh my god, it's the shit, uh, freaking Sinistee. Holy shit. It's over, guys. Ha, damn. Oh my god. 729 Sinistee KO'd. Phase 9. Oh my god, over 7,000 random encounters, and it's done, people. The question is, is it actually going, is it going to be authentic or not? Oh my god, I'm sure my voice cracked during all that. That's so embarrassing. I don't give a shit. Catching this thing, man. Holy shit, that's so cool. I'm so excited. All the Pokemon that I've found on this hunt. And phase 9 is over with the shiny Sinistee. That is fantastic, guys. Two shiny Morgrum. Two shiny Shinotic. No, three shiny Morgrum. Two shiny NDD. Oranguru. Hatrum. And it's all done, people. Hey, what do you say? Let's check out if this thing is uh, authentic or not. Right? We've got a 1% chance of it being authentic, which is infinitely better than if I had done this hunt by Masuda Method, where it's a 0% chance. So let's check that out shortly here. All right, let's check this thing out in the Pokedex real quick. If it's authentic, I should have shiny authentic Sinistee listed uh, as a form here. If it's, if it's uh, a regular one, if it's a forgery... 
it will be um, a uh, it will it will show up as a forgery. So let's see here. It is uh, uh, a synesty. Wait, I thought it was supposed to show up as forgery or not forgery. Wait, how am I supposed to choose? Um, I think I can do some motion or cry, and I can pause it. All right, we're going to check this thing out real quick. Okay, so if I, I'm pretty sure if it was forgery, it would show up with a little, uh, uh, or it would if it was authentic, it would show up with a little sticker there. So I think it's a forgery, and uh, that is okay. I'm still very happy to have this thing. Look at this. That's fun. That's real fun. Anyway, guys, if you are watching on YouTube, this is finally the end of the video. Phase 9 for Shiny Sinistee. I've been doing this hunt for over a month. And I'm very happy to have it. It's everything that I wanted it to be. Guys, thank you so much for coming out this, uh, today. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, guys, we are going to see you on the next Shiny.